Hey, welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about Diablo Dungeon Generation. In this video, we are going to fix our end tile issue and we're going to build the logic I was talking about in the previous video, which was quite long and we did not uh, finish the, the logic about regenerating the level if we do, do not have enough tiles in between the start and the end tile. So, but it, the first things I wanted to do was to increase, actually increase the arm camera lens once again, just to make sure I can actually see the dungeon from quite a long distance. We are going to increase the size of the of the arrow and the numbers, just so we can see them from that point of view. And we are also going to remove the number in the end tile, the number of steps to start in the end tile, the text render we, we created created in the previous tutorial. But first things, we want to go in our BP tile and we want to make the number uh, in here and we want to make it 500, maybe 600. I'm going to hit play. Yep, I can see the number and we're going to make the arrow a bit bigger, like 10. I'm going to hit play. Yep, I can see what's going on from quite a long distance. So we can see the end tile spawning. We want the end tile to actually trigger its events begin play parent. So right click add call to parent function and we want to destroy the text render afterwards. We want to hit play to make sure it does not create generate errors. So it does not. So we want to generate many tiles. So we're going to open up our level generator like this and we want the generator to generate like I don't know 20 tiles and like this and I want to make sure my level generator yep it's it's default so if I hit if I hit tab we get we get our we get our end tile and we are not seeing experiencing the bug we had in our previous video where it failed to generate the end tile yep did not found any tile to spawn so this happens when when does that happen we're going in our generate level function add end tile to layout so it said it found room for the end tile but not it did not find the proper tile let's just check our get tile class function if it gets our uh, if it wants to end tile maybe it's asking for an end tile with direction our end tile cannot provide this function throw on error so it means it did not find a valid tile so if I'm checking if I'm checking our end tile lists we can see we have we have only dead ends so maybe try to spawn something else than a dead end maybe because it tried to yep i know why because it tried to step back on a tile it found a random generic tile to plug our end tile but it was it was a three-way or a four-way and it should not create a bug actually it should always manage to generate the tile. Uh, I mean, it should always generate. It will always generate. Why did it not find a tile? We did not find the room for end tile after filtering. So let's let's generate quite. I did not found any tile to spawn. So we have multiple different errors and I want to to make sure I get them 
I get all of them. Maybe it's the same error, maybe it's not. We did not found a room for end style after filtering. So after filtering it tried to found uh, it tried to find the random next location and Mm, this is making sure we do not generate too many corridors in a row. Maybe that's the issue. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to hit play once again. I need to know what's what's wrong, what's causing the issue. Okay, it the the twelve. It says there are twelve 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 steps to start in here, but it's not it's not right. I'm going to check if I if I'm just rolling. I'm going to make something quite unclean. I'm going to calculate steps to start twice. Just to see if I'm getting strange results like this. We do not have nine tiles to start in here. We do not have that, that we have far fewer amounts of tiles. And if I, if I run it three times, I'm running it several times because it's supposed to, to fix a certain amount of errors each time I run it. And we are getting errors, especially when we get set up like this one two three four four five six seven eight nine ten eleven <coughs> so that's not pre that's not really clean but it's apparently fixed our wrong amounts of steps to start, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So, what did it, how, why did it fail to find the steps for the end tile in here? So why why running this function three times fixed our bug because in the process of finding rooms and, and connecting and calculating the calculating the steps to start we might actually need to get back or actually we might just need to say what do I mean? I mean that when we advance the dungeon and assign amounts to tiles, uh, preview style might have the wrong number of steps to start if a tile which was stored in a, a greater index than the previous uh, hasn't been updated yet and has a connection to the start tile. Elsewhere, that gives it a lower amount than the, the first tile we were looping through. So that's about it. And 
So running it three times fixed the error, but I'm not quite happy about that because it ran three times. But we might uh, we we might need to loop quite a high number of time of times if we have a dungeon with 100 tile so maybe we'll try to build a, sim a simple logic that will make sure it doesn't we does we don't need to run it three times i'm considering it i'm considering to do it now because i suspect our errors comes from that so Maybe when we loop through each tile, we get the tiles around. We're asking if the tiles are connected. And then... <laughs> this means that... If we also loop through that, what happens? If we also loop through the location around, the location around the first one, does it fix our issue? Let's let's imagine it builds a dungeon like this. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the weirdest dungeon dungeons to calculate, I believe. For our little formula. Let's say these are connected. I need I need this. Let's say let's say these are connected. So this says <clears throat> this says nothing, this says nothing, this says, hey, you are three steps. So with our current formula, it just checks the, the tiles around this. So it says you are three tiles away. Then it comes here, it says nothing, then it comes here, it says, hey, you are five tiles away. Then it goes all the way around this point. And this says, hey, you are six tile away. And then we encounter our bug where these tiles are not being updated. So maybe when we update a tile, a tile amount, maybe we need to check around it. If there is a tile, yep, we need to do that. We need to loop through every time. So when we arrive to that point, we need to tell this Every time we need we update the tile amount, we need to check the location around to see if they are connected and if they are above the number and if they are, we need to set the right amount like we are doing in here. So whenever we do that, we need to loop through the tile we found in order to do that again. So I'll are we going to do that? This is our current style. I want to get our current style variable out of the way. So if I'm doing this, I want to promote something to a function in order to reuse it. So this says we loop through each tile whenever we find uh, this is the current style we're looping through this is the current amount of steps to start they have and did we actually feed the number of steps to start when we add a tile to our layout 
I need to know steps to start lens. Yep, we are. So we are finding the location around the current tile. And then is the location used? Are the tiles connected? We want to do that for each tile. Mm -hmm. So we want to promote that to a function. We want to call this reduce steps to start around. This is not the greater name, the greatest name I've, I've came up with in this series of tutorial. We are going to get rid of every other parameter. We're going to double click that. We want the first parameter only. They are all the same. Actually, we want to hit compile. We want to save and then Whenever we reduce the amount of tiles, I'm not sure if we can actually rerun that logic and not break everything. I'm not sure if we can just call if a tile around has fewer, fewer locations. We want to loop through the location around this. No, around. Let's go back to our example. In our example, we are, we are looping through the tiles around, and then we want to, we want to loop through this tile around this tile. So it is this tile. I'm not sure if we can do that. If I hit compile, go back to our generate layout, get rid of our duplicated functions we might crash with an infinite loop i'm not sure about it so let's hit it hit plus so it apparently did not work if we consider this style is not six connections away from our start tile But I'm confused about the logic I I let us implement, so it's not working. Calculate steps to start current style. Re reduce steps to start around. <laughs> We're actually not going to do that. We are going to store. We're going to store the location. We need to, yep, we're going to do that a bit more carefully. Location to recheck. This is going to be an array of vector 2D. We're going to add the location around to the locations to recheck. We're going to say once we finished reducing our steps, maybe we can promote that to local variable instead. Delete that. Yes, yes, we want to add to that. This is our steps to recheck. So let's say after we've done that, we actually want, no, 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 let's make this, let's make this a variable. We need to get that information out of that function. That's why we want to make that a variable. So instead of a local variable, calculate steps to start. Once we've done this, we are going to check if we actually have some steps to recheck. We're going to 
we're actually going to clear that array and just rerun that function. Or actually, no, we are not. We want to we want to rerun that logic only using these these locations. So we are going to pin that in here. We are going to control X that. We are going to go there, duplicate, control V that. The first time we want to calculate our steps to start using all the tiles we get, we have, and but the second. The second time we only want to run that event using steps to recheck variable. We want to hit compile, we want to promote that to a temp array. We want to loop through that temp array. And we want to clean steps to recheck just in case we need in case we in case we find steps to recheck once again. If I hit play, it's supposed to it's to it's supposed to fix the error the, the error, but I'm not sure it fixed it. Three, four, five, twelve. It's not working. It's not working when we are coming up with quite interconnected dungeons. And I'm, I'm not sure why. When it's actually stepping back, maybe. Am I adding the right the right thing to this var to this variable? I'm re coming in here. I'm adding what am I adding? That's the problem with all these wires. It's quite complicated to understand what's going on. So above it's going to be the tile I'm looping through and to the left it's going to be the tile I'm checking for. So this is going to go there, this is going to go there. This is quite embarrassing actually. So this is this is it and what am I adding to our steps to recheck? Yep, I'm adding the thing I wanted to add. So I did not make an error. I wanted to aisle the tile around because in our example that's what I want to do when I find the tile around. When I find a tile around which is connected and has lower amounts, I'm updating. Well, actually, I think I'm getting the wrong one. Mm, I think I want this one actually. So if, if I did it that, I hit compile, hit play. I think it got rid of the problem. I was what I was doing I think was actually storing this style this style instead of this one into my array. And 
therefore I I mean I'm storing this style in the array yep th that that was a problem I was storing this one and I was checking around this one instead of checking around this one and that's what I wanted to do checking around this one because I wanted to update eight which will then put all the tiles around eight in the in the array which reloops once again and adds adds this one etc etc so we're fine with this I think we're fine with that issue and it's going to wrap up that video uh, sorry for this video which we're, which are getting a bit long and a bit messy but uh, we don't I didn't I'm doing this live I didn't set up a proper debugging system and I'm not the, the and, and I'm, I'm not a, a generator a random generator professional so I'm sorry if things might seem messy sometimes but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.